How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, I see Josh back. And we are talking about some global and a little bit of JP Dokkan battle. So no summons and stuff like that on this one. We're actually just going to be going through looking at the banners and stuff like I seen what's really next for uh, global, which I think most of the people really know what's next for global JP a little different. Y'all definitely going to have some Dokkan Fest banner or maybe a dual, double rates banner or something. Y'all definitely going to have something after the split up after golden week. But before we get into that, you new to the channel, you like what you see, subscribe, turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. You want to be a part of the channel. Like it's, it's about to get crazy for the anniversary in a couple of months, but like a month and a half, really. At, at Technically, at this point in time, it's like a month and a half. Yeah, because we'll have the countdown and all that stuff. Yeah, like a month and a half. Uh, and then it, and then it's going to go crazy. So that's 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 quick. Like I told you at the beginning of the year, this was going to go by quick. And like we almost here, man. We, we literally at, the, at mid May, mid May now. It's, it's wild how fast this is actually going. It's, it's straight up uh, crazy how fast this is going. So talking about this, for the global side, after Golden Week, which again, for Golden Week, all we have left so far that we know of, because we're pretty much in like the dead zone right now, um, is everyone's going to be waiting for Super Easy A Kid Boo, which should be absolutely phenomenal. Should get some information to pop off on him in a couple of days or so, uh, because again, he should be coming out the 21st, like they said, <laughs> that it got leaked. So we should be getting some kind of information in a couple of days before uh, he drops and stuff like that. So we still have a little bit more of dead time, but as far as I know, that might be the last thing that really drops this celebration, unless they surprise us again and pop something else in for the last ladder of Golden Week. We don't know yet. Maybe surprise Easy A or two. We don't know but with, with a super Easy A which I doubt it at this point right now. I think at this point in time, Golden Week's been very, very, very good. And with the with the, pretty much the icing and the cherry on top of super easy a kid boo gonna happen, I think that at that point, it's like we everyone won. We're getting a busted kid boo. I, I think everyone's won on that one and we're kind of sort of moving on and coasting off this one and getting ready for JP, your Tanabanta after a while, because at this point in time, this is, this is going to be the same question for you guys as well. And I'm probably going to do a poll as well for this one, because I want to see how sort of right I'm going to be on the percentages. But for JP, you guys will get into a banner, probably another banner, and then your Tanabanta. And at this point in time for you guys, it's like, well, are you done summoning? Was Gohan, was Gohan it for you? Was Gohan literally it for you guys in terms of summoning like i'm gonna assume i would say probably about 50 maybe maybe 60 percent of the people are probably done and are going to start saving up dragon songs for the tanabata and then the worldwide celebration which the big one really is that worldwide celebration for you guys the tanabata is big too but the worldwide celebration is definitely what i would assume most of the jp side are really looking forward to for the global side just looking at Gohan for just because of his animations, it feels like we went out bad on this one, but that's just me. That's, that's not the whole community, but from the poll that I had up, it was basically more people skip Gohan. So I'm going to assuming that right now at this point in time, I'm going to say about 70% of the global community is probably done summoning right now until the anniversary. And like I say, it doesn't really matter because it's just Ginyu, uh, Frieza, I know looking at that beast, Gohan did something for y'all. Frieza and Topo, which I'm going to say really quick while I'm looking at this Topo for a second. I'm going to hold y'all's feet to the fire because some of you mans is out there. Some of you mans and whamans out there was literally talking about how y'all were going to summon on Topo and that was before Golden Week. Has it changed? Has your, has your opinion changed? Because don't, hey, he will be very close to the anniversary because the way I see it, is since we are still trying to sync up and stuff like that, I'm going to assume that we'll definitely get Frieza. We'll definitely get maybe Ginyu in the middle of that and then Topo. That way Topo's like right before still in that theme. And then it'll lead right into us getting like the easy A for Ultra Instinct Goku and stuff like that. And then leading right into the actual anniversary. I'm going to assume he'll be the last Doken Fest. I, I doubt like if he's first, that had to be like a huh 
for a little bit, especially if he's before freeze. I'd be like, huh, what? Uh, or even after in the middle, I'd be like, huh, what? Especially with another banner that JP's gonna get. Uh, a little, little tough right there, a little sketchy on that one. I, I, I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna assume that he would be before the actual anniversary, just because of his theme fit up and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going with right there. But did your opinion change? Are you summoning on him or not? Let me know in the comment section below, especially of how close he's gonna be before the anniversary, because I'm going to assume. And I'm, I'm just spitballing here. It's not like anything confirmation or anything like that, but I'm going to spitball that probably after golden week, I would say closer to either somewhere around the 26 between maybe like June, maybe mid June, maybe this time June, I would assume we're going to get another producer letter. And by that, I mean like not just a, Oh, we're tweeting out, some stuff, some screenshots, like, no, nah, I feel like we're probably gonna get another producer letter, like where we actually get another video. And for the global side, it's gonna, and also JP side, it's gonna be them pretty much trying to pinpoint and focus in on somewhere around the exact time that they're going to do the sync up. Because we know that the broad scale is just summer. We don't know when, we just know summer. And we also know that at the end of summer, uh, pretty much closer to the end of summer is what the worldwide celebration. So I'm going to assume that it's either going to be, I'm still guessing sometime between the anniversary and the worldwide celebration. When we normally get that one little banner in between, I'm going to assume somewhere around something like that, but we never know. We never know because there's still that roadmap and there's still a lot of things on the roadmap and stuff like that that they, got, that they have to do, which again is probably another point of that producer letters, what I'm going to say, because they'll probably still pinpoint a little more uh, things that they're going to be doing for that and stuff. So I would assume something like that will probably happen off as well. But for global, I think this effectively uh, Gohan banner kind of really effectively uh, killed off majority of the community on what you're going to be summoning. I think it's really back to summoning, excuse me, saving all your dragon stones or hoarding them mugs up for the anniversary and for the JP side, like I said, probably doing the same thing for the Tanabanta and also for uh, the worldwide celebration, because at this point, I'm not like justifying skipping or, or saying anything like that. I'm just saying in general of like from the own poll that I put on the go on and how so many people were talking about how they were just saving all their dragon stones for the anniversary now on the global side. That's what I, this is where one of this parts of this video is really coming from is because of that. So I thought, like I said, I'm going to assume from how the community is like, like say you part of the community, you speak like I listen as well. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to be doing. If you guys are still going to be hitting some of the banners, if I'm right or not, like I said, I'm going to try to put those uh, posts up maybe sometime today. Uh, maybe sometime after this video has been out, I'm going to try to put those posts up for the JP and then the global side to see effectively what's going to be going on there. Because like I said, I think about roughly about maybe 50 or 60 percent of the people are going to be done skipping on JP. And it's probably going to be 70 percent, uh, if not higher than 70 percent uh, of the people of, of the player base on the global side are probably done until the anniversary, to be quite honest. But other than that, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about it. Also have an awesome day slash night. Stay safe and I'm out. Peace.